What's up, everybody? Well, today I am here to bring you another vacuum in the video series that I like to call Franken Hoover, where I take and reconstruct Hoover Elites to make pretty much an unofficial version of a Hoover Elite based cleaner, as if Hoover were to make it from the factory. But this is mostly just to demonstrate my creativity and pretty much get some more content on YouTube because I love elites and just to have a little fun. So what I have here following up from another video that I recently made on something similar to this, this is essentially another Hoover Dimension prototype that I made. But instead of the T-shaped hood like I did on the last one, here is how it would look if it was a square hood one. With the lower end style before getting the permanently affixed hose, like the legacy version of it normally would have came with. So, for right now, let's go ahead and give a walkthrough of the cleaner. Pretty standard high-end elite fare. You do have your handle-mounted power switch on the front here. You also do have this nice texture on high-end models. Feels all right in the hands, but I prefer the tan deluxe handle grip on other elite models. You also do have a little bag check reminder that I do like that they put on the late model elites. And remind you that you do have to change your bag eventually. So as we move along to the front here, we do have your tool storage on the front. You house your upholstery tool, your dusting brush, and crevice tool. All pretty standard attachments. Also, you do have up front here, you your bag check indicator for this particular version. Basically how it works on this is as the bag fills up, it presses against this little rubber piece on the back. You have a little thing connected to a hinge on the inside. So as the bag fills up and it presses against, this pops out to let you know that you need to change your bag. And speaking of bag, we do have a generic HEPA Y bag installed. Filters out much better than even the genuine paper bags did at the time. Even though these Y bags are a little bit smaller than the Z bags, at least you get HEPA filtration out of it. So, you have your nice prominent Hoover symbol on the front here. Something I really love about these dimension style cleaners. Your energy efficient up here, 99.9% .9 microfiltration down to five microns. You have a dedicated stair cleaning handle on the front there. Also do have your hose storage along the side here and your extension wand right there. This being a more high-end model, uh, it does have a flex hose. And now let's go ahead and down here you have your four position carpet height adjustment. I like to leave it on the middle for the pile of this carpet. You have your nice Hoover symbol right here. Your cleaning effectiveness per amp rated at 18. That was just Hoover's famous marketing technique that they used back then to make high end models look more appealing to buyers. Every Hoover symbol right over here. Brushed edge cleaning on both sides and it uses only 7.2 amps. So it is quite energy efficient as it says on the bag door. You have your little cleaning tool door that opens right here to, to attach your hose to use the onboard tools. And now let's go ahead and flip this thing down to show you the underside. You do have your Deluxe style brush roll offered from Hoover at the time. The reason to tell it's a deluxe style, it has full length of bristles across the entire brush roll. 
and it does have this four metal wire bottom plate which honestly leaves much better carpet lines than the three bar plastic bottom plate that they would use on lower end models. The bristles are very stiff, but they're not as long as some other brush rolls I've seen for this, but this grooms excellent on this carpet. The Hoover Elite's performance never ceases to amaze me. And right here, it, it is a helix pattern, so it funnels all the dirt into this little suction channel down here. And I'm just going to turn this thing on its back to show you its model number. This is Hoover Cleaner, model U5097-930. One twenty volts, sixty hertz, seven point two amps. Your bag type A, and serial date these. The first two digits decode the month. Third and fourth decodes the year. So this cleaner was manufactured in oh one of ninety nine. So uh, January of nineteen ninety nine for household use only, made in the USA. That's one thing I love about these old Hoovers is that they are American made. And pretty much showing you around the cleaner as best as I can. Now the only thing left to do is release the cord and give this thing a demo of it running, which is probably what you guys wanted to see in the first place. So the cord on this is not the longest, but it's only like, I think, a 24-foot cord. So at least it's enough to be somewhat passable. I've seen cords way shorter than this. So I'm just gonna plug this guy in. Now, we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and demo it running for you guys. And typical Elite fashion, this thing's pretty loud when it's running. So headphone users, I would advise turning down your volume for this part. So here we go. Carpet height was a little too high.
runs nice and smooth. And before we end the video, let's go ahead and demonstrate this to you in tool mode. So it's simply just remove the hose like that, lift up the little attachment door, and then with the little persuasion, the hose will simply just pop in like that. Now, I would like to let you know to not expect miracle suction out of this. This is a direct air cleaner. It's known to produce more airflow than suction. But it's pretty good for what it is. done just simply remove everything from the cleaner sometimes the connections are a little bit tight but you, but you have to kind of give it a little help Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video on another Frank and Hoover series of a prototype dimension with a square hood instead of the T hood like the other one. But be sure and stay tuned and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.